Hey there everybody, welcome to Twisted Slippers Gaming. Today we bring you another cool game called Alwa's Awakening. It is a throwback honor game of the 8-bit generation generation I grew up in. Alright, so we're going to go through, do some commentary. We're trying out the commentary in our videos. Trying to get some more interaction with you guys. And uh, yeah, now you can hear what I'm thinking while I'm playing. Trying to figure out all these puzzles. Without further ado, here is Alwa's Awakening Part 1. The land of Alwa was once a beautiful and peaceful place filled with vivid lakes, clear skies, and lush forests. The people living there were free. They took care of one another and, took, and together ensured the safety of the land. But one day the peace was broken. Someone wanted Alwa for himself, and a mystical being known as Vicar descended from above. Armed not by weapons, but instead driven by hate, he slowly began to enslave the people of Alwa. No one could escape his reach. The vicar formed the protectors. Together they sought to claim the ornaments, which are said to give their owner immense power. The ornaments had always been in the hands of the people, safe from evil. With them captured by Vicar, all seemed lost. Under the demonic reign of Vicar, the people of Alwo were helpless, and his evil quickly spread throughout the land. The village where the ornaments were kept was destroyed, and hope was gone. Soon began a darkness that would last for centuries. But things are about to change. The people of Alwa have chosen to fight. And from another world, a heroine has been sent for. The Forsaken Valley. Wake up, Zoe. The eternal flame must be lit. Hello, Zoe. You are in the land of Alwa. I am Sega, and I have brought you here to help us. Alwa has been enslaved by evil, and we, the people, have lost our strength and courage to fight back. We cannot do this alone. You must help us. You are stronger than us, and in time you will uncover your true strength. You must enter this tower and go all the way to the top in order to find the magic staff. When you have found the staff, quickly make your way back to town. But watch out, there are many dangerous foes out there. Alright, welcome to the party. Go get a staff. All right, so jumping. Here we go. Okay, here we go, guys. Let's play Forsaken Valley in Alba's Awakening. X is just a simple matter of jump. D-pad to move. That's what I like to use. Try to do some no-nonsense here and just keep her going. Get herself a skull soldier there, I believe. Or at least a walking dead for sure. And we're in. We won't waste too much time here. Let's just keep going. We'll do it later, but I know there is a trophy, I believe. An achievement. That you have to complete this game in less than two hours. You have found a magic staff. When you hold it, you can feel there is something really special with this item. Use it with attack to fight enemies and to destroy certain walls. Okay, well I obviously can't jump up there yet. Now, obviously, can't get over to the right, so back down the tower. Let's attack this. Alright, that was fun. Oh, 
Oh, we got like a pumpkin head or something? What is that? Tree. It's a tree dude? He's got a leaf on his head. So like Groot? Got you. Ugh. Nah, what does this say? Right. The Amber Sacrum. We don't want to go there yet. Let's get these slime dudes. Yeah, we'll get them. Alright, let's go. Up to top. Obviously, I'm very limited in where I can jump and all that so far since I can only. Oh. Heart. Didn't need that yet. Okay. Never know when there could be secrets hiding around. What do we got over here? Ugh, I can't get up there yet. No double jumps, no nothing. Alright. Eventually, I assume I can get that. Keep climbing. This music is pretty catchy, though. You're going down! Alright, keep climbing. Well, these bricks are gonna fall away. You can see it because they're broken. Keep climbing, keep climbing, keep jumping. Hey, fool. Gotcha. Oh! I was hoping. What do you think? Go down here? Game saved. I think I did that a little prematurely. I can't get up there yet. What do we got here? Left, boy tower. Right, town. Oh, yeah, that's the town. Town of Westwood. What's up, old man? Welcome, Zoe. This is the town of Westwood. Thank you for coming to the land of Alwa. You have been sent for because we are weak. You must help us destroy the evil that threatens our land. Go back to the cave just outside town and talk to the knight. He will open the entrance to Amber Sacrum, where there you will find a green gemstone and a very powerful enemy. But before you go, enter this house where you can find a map of Alwa. And will guide you in your journey. Go now, Zo, and return when you found the green gemstone and defeated the enemy. Here's my map. You found a map! If you check your inventory, it now shows your location. Go on, try it now. Right. Just so you know, options is your... Uh, Okay, so I see... What's the skulls? Danger? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Quick game. No, I don't want a quick game. Okay. No keys. We got a map. No items. No magic. No one of those. None of those. None of those. Alright, we got nothing. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's go do stuff then. Let's go get that green gemstone. The Forsaken Valley. We're back. Fool. Where did I just fall? Try to save my game again. Game saved. There's our warp activated. All right. Well, Mr. Knight. Now that you have the map, you are ready. When you have found the green gemstone and the evil is defeated, go back to town. Now let me open this door for you. 
Thanks, sir. The Amber Sacklum. Skull Troopers. Pretty sure I can't get through this yet. Oh, which makes me wonder. We will be back. All right, let's keep going here. Doom, 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 boom, boom. His eye pops out. It's kind of cool. All right. Let's go up here. Up here. Go over here. We got one of those blue things. We got a key. And I can't jump anywhere else. Okay. Oh, another one of you, eh? I assume we need the key very soon. Right there. Push this. Of course I got hurt. Come on. Can I even go that way yet? Ah! We'll go there later. Someone give me your heart. I need a heart. Oh, another save point. Game saved. Haha, <laughs> you can't get me now. Well, actually, look at you. Ha ah, ah, ha ah. ha. Take that, fire breath. Headway here. When do you guys want to give me a heart? Another blue gem. Keep going here. What's down here? Oh, hello. Go and light the flame. Already did it. In the center of this room. Doing so will let you start from here if your adventure comes to an end. Okay, thank you. I guess we'll go down the ladder now. Come on, someone give me a heart. Come on, come on, man. Give me a heart. Somebody give me a heart. Oh, I have full life. When that happens. Oh, when you get the blue sphere that fills your heart. All right. Ooh, tricky. further I'll die. Come on. Alright. Try 
try this again. Now, if I got the key once, does that mean I'm good? Yes, the key is gone, so I'm good. <clears throat> Try and jump this time. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, the green gemstone. You found the green gemstone. Trophy urn, just like Dana. It glows with a mysterious light. You place it on your staff and it fits perfectly. Now you can hold up and press attack to create a gemstone blocks. Every time you create a block, it uses magic, so you have to wait for your magic meter to be refilled before you can create another block. Up. Up. And attack. Isn't that nifty? Oh no! Do I still have it? <laughs> How do I have to do it again? Oh, oh, I have it still. Good. Okay. Well, I should probably go through the motions and go back to that ladder. And go up from there. Alright, guys, I got excited. Alright. Pretty sure I need to collect all those blue gems eventually, anyway, so I, it's not like it was a total sacrifice. <sighs> Alright, now I'm up here. I need some hearts, though. Show me love! Game saved. Two 
best option is to make sure you're using this. You want to make sure you're using your magic staff, the green... Goodness. No, that's the best way to get this guy. Whoa! Game saved. Have you seen any blue orbs lying around? They are very powerful. And if you see any, you should try to collect them. The more you have, the more powerful you become when fighting the protectors. There is also a treasure hidden somewhere in this dungeon. You should really try to find it before you leave. more hit we got him <laughs> trophy earned vicious vic, vic, vicious vicar peeper <laughs> triumphant return all right finally get through this hopefully for sure. Forsaken Valley. Now that you have the green gemstone, you can continue to the east. There you will find the shrine of Sea Monk.
Hello, I am Ori Wairu. Welcome to the town of Westwood. I know a lot of things, so come talk to me if you ever need any help. This bridge is broken and you cannot pass, but if you have the green gemstone, you can create a block that lets you pass. Hello! In this well next to me, you can refill your water. But first, you need to find something to carry it in. Right is the central Alwa. Okay. 